see Stan! Hey PC people, it's Joe Zim again, here with another episode of Spoiler Alert. This time we got two articles from FFG to spoil because they move too quickly for me. Um, the first one we're going to talk about is called Counsel from the Lore Master. Uh, this one is an update to the FAQ. And if you read it, you know why I said C Stan in the beginning. They nerfed Horn of Gondor and Love of Tales. Probably because of C-Stan. <laughs> C-Stan is a, uh, a YouTuber who records a lot of games. He likes to make really interesting decks and try to break the game with his decks. And, well, he broke the game using Love of Tales and Horde of Gondor, primarily, and now they nerfed them. So the main nerf here is for Horn of Gondor is instead of ha triggering after a character leaves play, it triggers after a character is destroyed. Which on the surface doesn't seem like a big thing, but if you really think about it, I think somewhere around 75% of the time Horn of Gondor is used is on effects that make characters leave play, not when they're allies are chump blocked or something, you know? So, it's a huge nerf. The other one is Love of Tales. They changed it so you have to exhaust it to get the resource. So you're limited to one resource per card per round, instead of the nearly unlimited that C-Stand tries to do. Um, that one makes sense because it's a zero cost um, attachment so it's, it shouldn't be str that strong and it's not unique either so you can have three of them in play so you really need to limit them in some way and this is this is a good limit I think but still uh, there are a few other changes mostly uh, there's a rule clarification for lasting effects uh, for lasting effects for uh, player cards um, the numbers and everything are calculated the moment that the card, the uh, action is triggered. So like with Faramir, uh, each character controlled by that player gets plus one willpower. If a different character enters play before the end of the phase, that character will not get the extra willpower. But with encounter cards, uh, something like Treacherous Fog, where it says each location in the staging area gets plus one threat until the end of the phase. Those last, so that whenever uh, more uh, locations come into play, they also get the plus one threat. I, I'm not sure about the clarification, we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to leave that behind and move on to the next uh, article. This one is called The Drowned Ruins. It's talking about, I think, the fourth AP in the Dream, um, Dream Chaser cycle. And it's got some interesting stuff in here. I'm going to read a bit. Um, the pack and its cards offer a healthy dose of new Sylvan-themed cards, including a new Scout and Warrior allies. Uh, finally, you'll find new cards from your favorite or for your favorite Hobbit, Dunedine, and Trap decks, as well as a new title attachment to support any secrecy deck built around playing with two or fewer heroes. So that's a lot to take in. Um, the big thing that they're actually showing off, though, is Sylvan stuff. Uh, they mentioned there's going to be a new Sylvan lore hero. They don't mention who it is. People are um, speculating Thranduil. We'll see. Um, and they have two new allies. First one is Woodland Courier. Two cost spirit ally. 
one willpower, one attack, zero defense, one hit point. Sylvan Scout. Response. After it enters play, place one progress on a location, two instead if that location has the forest trait. So they're going off that forest trait again, like they did with the Lorian Cloak. That's kind of cool. Um, and the one progress isn't a huge thing, but it can be if you play your Sylvan decks right. Uh, the next one is a tactics ally called, called Marksman of Lorien. 3 cost, 0 willpower, 3 attack, 0 defense, 2 hit points. Uh, it's a Sylvan Warrior with ranged. Response after it enters play, choose an enemy. That enemy gets minus 2 defense until the end of the round. So, more ranged to make what's this, Rumil more powerful. That's awesome. Um, with Celeborn in play, he comes in play for the first round with 4 attack. Uh, minus 2 defense for a round is pretty powerful. Heck, if you get the minus 2 on the right guy, you can even use a card like Straight Shot and take it out without even having to attack. So yeah, that's the Sylvan guys that they spoiled. There's another guy, um, Dwarven Sellsword. He was actually spoiled in an earlier thing um, for the first pack where they discuss the entire cycle. Um, but anyway, he's a one cost leadership ally. Two willpower, two attack, two defense, three hit points. So pretty good stats. It only costs one. He's a dwarf warrior. Forced. At the end of the round, discard dwarven cell sword unless the players as a group spend one leadership resource. So you have to keep paying to keep him in play. He's like a mercenary. Um, really really good to get dwarf decks rolling and then I think by the time you st have paid four or five resources for him you, you might be okay with getting rid of him because you have four other dwarves out there um what else was there there is another inkling of what looks like another lore ranger card called interrogation that's two packs in a row where I'm like Ooh, I want to see what the ranger card is but they don't have it showing or a trap card actually it seems I want to see it I want these trap card or these trap decks to work better because mine's not working so well anyway uh, I don't really care too much about what they're showing for the quest I think that's pretty much all they got one thing I have to say is I am interested by the resurgence of Sylvan. They're kind of doing that with Dwarf giving more a little bit. But, like, everybody's kind of stopped playing Dwarf decks because it's old. And now we're a full cycle past the Sylvan cycle. And so Sylvan is kind of feeling old. And so they're trying to renew it. So, but I'm like... I want to try. I still have to try all the new decks. I don't want to go back and build new Sylvan decks again. But if I did, it would probably be pretty cool. Um, I'm glad to see some more allies with more than one hit point, but they're more expensive allies. So anyway, that's all I got. Uh, remember, busy people, Bork makes up the tag lines.